Much. We're joined now by Congressman Marquane Mullen of Oklahoma, who moved a hold off the riders from inside the House chamber, witnessed the fatal shooting. Congressman, thanks for joining us. We were talking yesterday in the middle of this turmoil. You said you were doing what you could to keep these protesters from getting shot. Uh, well, you know, the, the sergeant at arms and the Capitol Police are the real heroes here, George. Uh, they showed a lot of restraint the best they could. Uh, and there were some mistakes about shots being fired. and. Um, you, you know, it, it, it's it's a matter of just communicating and understanding what's happening at the time. There's a lot of chaos going on, but I'll tell you, uh, I went to the triage center down in the basement of one of our um, office buildings, and uh, there was way more than a dozen. There was 25 to 50 uh, um, law law officials, from male and female, uh, to Capitol Police to DC Police, and all of them had had sustained injuries, and all of them were doing their job, and, and God bless them because they're the real heroes. So you see these rioters coming through, storming the house, uh, storming the house floor. What was going through your mind? Uh, obviously, we were concerned. I never thought I'd ever see this um, in the United States. Unfortunately, I've seen this before uh, overseas, and uh, and we're better than this, George. Uh, as a country, we're better than this. We can debate better than this. Uh, and, uh, and, and what we do in, in our country, other democracies look at. Uh, and and I, get under, I get people being passionate and being frustrated, uh, but there's a right way and there's a wrong way to do things, and yesterday was wrong. There was absolutely no excuse for it, no excuse for it. And we're very fortunate a lot more people didn't actually lose their life. One is way too many. You saw that happen. You saw the woman get shot. Walk us through what was going on. Uh, well, at that time, they were trying to come through the front door, uh, which is where I was out of the chamber, and in the back, they were trying to come through the speaker's lobby, uh, and that's problematic when you're trying to defend two fronts. Uh, anybody will understand that. you got to secure your perimeter, uh, and, and in the front, there hadn't been a breach yet, even though they were trying. That's where we originally thought guns or uh, shots were fired when they broke the glass. When they broke the glass in the back, uh, the lieutenant that was there, uh, him and I had already had actually multiple conversations prior to this. And uh, he didn't have a choice at that time. The mob was going to come through the door. There was a lot of members and staff that uh, were in danger at the time. Uh, and when he drawed his weapon, uh, that's a decision that's very hard for anybody to make. And once you draw your weapon like that, you 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 uh, you have to defend yourself in a deadly in, in with deadly force. A part of you leaves that day too. The first time that happens, you'll never forget it. And unfortunately, two people's lives changed. That young lady's family's lives changed, and his life also changed. But what also happened is that mob that was trying to go through that door, uh, they left. And uh, his actions will may be judged in a lot of different ways moving forward. But uh, uh, his actions, I believe, saved people's lives even more. Uh, unfortunately, it did take one, though. That mob was encouraged by the president. Your colleague, Republican colleague Liz Cheney, a member of the leadership, said that there's no question that the president formed the mob. He lit the flame. What must the president I, I do right now? Well, I, dis I disagree with that. We're all responsible for our own actions, full stop. It's our, it's our actions. And uh, you can get, we're all adults here, we're supposed to be adults. Uh, these flames have been, uh, have been fanned for uh, over five years now. By the and if anybody's to blame, it's, it's all of us. You know, the media is to blame, the right and the left is to blame. But at the end of the day, we're all responsible for our own actions. Oh, full Congressman, stop. I, don't, I don't think you saw the media encouraging those monsters yesterday. You did see the president. No, not yesterday. I, I, sir, I, I'm not saying that you guys did yesterday. Absolutely not. I'm saying what's happened for the last five years. Uh, and as, as I say, as a country, we are better than this. There is nobody to blame but ourselves when we start acting in that manner. There is no excuse and no one's to blame but ourselves. We need to take a hard look at our country. We need to take a hard look at the way we debate. We can agree to disagree, but that doesn't mean I don't love you. That doesn't mean I don't care for you. That doesn't mean I don't love this country any more or any less than you. Uh, but what we did yesterday was absolutely unexcusable.